Okay. So, the next question is, what happens if we keep increasing the input current? So, when we keep increasing the input current, it means we keep increasing the load. Remember that the load actually, as it increases, it requires more and more current to feed um, the, the uh, what do you call, the torque that is required to drive the application. Okay. So, remember that the application has a torque that is counter uh, the, the amount of torque that are produced by the machine. Okay. So, as the load is increases, so the counter torque is, keeps increasing. Now, the production of the torque must increase as well. Okay. So, a torque is, remember, K5 IA. So, as the, as the torque uh, pro produced need to increase, the input current will increase as well. So, what happens when we, we increase to 200? So, if it is IL equals to 200, now we know from the calculation, IA is IL minus IF. Okay. So, it will be 200 minus IF stays the same, right? So, it's 5 ampere. So, it will be 195 ampere. So, the same calculation, EA VT minus IARA would be 250 minus 195 times 0 0.06 um, will give you 238.3 volts. Okay. And the same equation, EA at no load over N at no load and EA at this speed divided by speed at this speed, uh, uh, the speed that we want to know. So, eventually, this calculation will give you the speed of um, 1144 RPM. Okay. Alright. So, you can see that it keeps decreasing. Okay. As the uh, current or the armature current increases. Okay. So, this is expected. Lah, because as we increase the load, of course, the speed will decrease. Because the uh, counter torque that needs or the, 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 the torque produced need to be increased to um, counter the torque applied, the torque required by the application. Now, as we increase it to 300, okay, the same calculation as well. So, IL minus IF, it now will be 300 minus 5 ampere. We will have 295 okay, ampere. Now, EA is simply 250 minus 295 times 0 0.06. It becomes 232.2 volts and therefore the speed at this is becomes 1115 rpm. It's the same calculation. Okay, just repeat the same calculation. And we can see that the, 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 the speed from 1200 it goes to 1173, then 1114, sorry, 1144, and then 1115 as the current increases. Okay, here sorry, IA is ideally 0. Now, IA is 100, sorry, 95 ampere here. IA is 195 here and IA is 295 here. Now, um, we know that the speed now has, um, if, uh, if, we, if we take a look at speed regulation, okay, we know that the speed basically decreases as the um, uh, IA increases, okay. So, if this is P of the motor and this is IA, so as IA from 0, you have 1,200, it keeps on decreasing as it uh, reaches the um, full load. Okay. So, um, now plot the motor top speed characteristic. Okay. So, top speed characteristics means what? There's a top and then there's a speed. Lah. Okay. So, it basically looks like this, dot induce and speed. So, um, um, to plot these output characteristics, uh, we, it is necessary to basically find the top corresponding to each value of speed. Okay. So, we know that at no load, um, the induced top is actually zero. Okay. Of course, because the current is zero. Remember that induced stock is K prime 5 nm. Okay, so at no load, 
um, at no load. I sorry, not nm. I a okay. So at no load, I a is equal to zero. So induced stock is clearly zero. Now, for any other load, we can use the conversion, the the, the converted power equation, which is p converted is actually e a i a or also equals to induced stock times omega m. Okay. This converted power equation we get from the power flow diagram. Okay. Now, if we rearrange, okay, we will get the induced torque is actually equals to E A I A divided by omega M. Alright, so for each omega, okay, so here in omega, right, omega is in radian per second. So for each speed that we have, remember that we have 1,200, 1,173, 1,144, 1,115, all of that must be converted to radian per second. So, 1200 rpm is um 1200 revolution per minute okay to convert to radian it is 2 pi radian per 1 revolution and then it is um 1 minute for 60 seconds okay so here we can cancel like this all right So it would be one thousand two hundred times two pi over sixty to give you radian per second. Okay, so you will convert each of the speed. Then for each of the speed, you can calculate the induced stock. So induced stock at zero. Okay, the first when I a equals to zero. I sorry. I a equals to zero. P induced stock at zero is E a. I a over omega m, and we know that I a is zero, so torque induced is zero. Now, when I a is ninety five ampere, so torque induced at ninety five is actually E a that we first calculate just now, which is two four four point three volts. Two four four point three volts times I a is ninety five ampere over The speed that we get is one one seven three, so it's one one seven three times two pi over sixty radian per second. Okay, so this will give you one ninety newton meter. Okay, then repeat for the second one when I is one ninety five ampere. So T induced at one ninety five is two three eight point three volts times ninety five one ninety five. Ampere divided by one one four four times two pi over sixty radian per second. Ah, uh, will be equals to three eight eight newton meter. Okay, and then you also repeat for two ninety five ampere. So it will be the torque induced at two ninety five ampere will be two three two. Point three volts. We have calculated this just now, right? Two ninety five ampere divided by one 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 five times two pi over sixty radian per second will give you five eight seven newton meter. Now we have all all these numbers of a torque, okay, as well as the speed, okay. As ah uh, yes, okay. So if we plot something like this, n m in for example R P M. And we have induced torque in newton meter. Then we can plot it one ninety. So basically, at zero we will have um. How much is the first one to one thousand two hundred? Right. Okay. So one thousand two hundred rpm. And then at one ninety you will have um. Uh, sorry. At yeah one ninety, you will have one one seven three. Okay. See. Here is one one seven three, so this would be one ninety, and then at three eight eight, for example, then five eight seven, okay, so you will have one one four four probably here, and then um, one 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 five probably here. So you can just simply uh connect all that together, and that will give you a top speed characteristics of the um 
motto of this motto.